Hey everyone, my name is Dimitri and in this video, I'm gonna dive into one of my new favorite tools. For me, taking notes is always something that I've wished could be an easier process between being on my computer and on the go. I'm a talker, I'm not as much of a typer, sure I type pretty fast, but I really enjoy interacting with my notes in a way that is a little bit more natural than other people. And I wanted to show you a new product that I've been messing around with that really allows this to be the case. And that product is Voice Notes, which is kindly sponsoring this video. While they are sponsoring it, you know me, I don't mince words, these are my own thoughts. Voice Notes is one of those tools out there that is utilizing AI and combining it with one of the most intuitive note-taking processes, which you'll see in this video, which I love because I'm a talker, which is recording. So if I press record a note right now, you'll see I have to just allow my browser to use it. And by the way, as you can see, this is available for web, iOS, and Android. So showing you on the computer first, then I'll get on my phone. This note is gonna be about how I've been thinking a lot about task management lately and how it manages to become an easier and easier process as I automate a lot of the different tools that I use inside of Notion. My workflow is very seamless at this point. It really helps to automate stuff to get things delegated. And I'm curious as to what other people do on a daily basis when they don't have these automations. I think back to the life that I used to have before and how I didn't have Notion, Todoist, Google Calendar, or any tools like this. And especially now that I didn't have voice notes, I think about what life was like back then. So I can finish taking that note and I can pause at any point and resume, but I'm gonna press done here and you'll see there is this new recording that pops up. It does actually have the audio. So you'll notice here, there is audio that can play, that's me. And just another note, I can actually download this as audio if I want to, or share the audio itself to anybody. I click on that link and you'll see that it has got the audio and the written notes figured out, which is really great. So I'm gonna take another note to just give it some more context and I'll be back in a, a few minutes when I have some more context that I want to be able to pull from because all of these are really interesting features here. A few moments later. So you'll notice right here that I do have a couple more notes and some of them are about my productivity system and a lot of them are my reflections on stoic authors. So I really enjoy stoicism. It is a great pastime for me to study philosophy as well as other aspects of my life. And really great thing about this is that after I write one of these down with my voice, I, I, I transcribe them, I can press tags and I could write something down here like productivity and press add. And then on top of that, I could utilize other tags like stoicism and philosophy. These are really great in my opinion because then these tags could be referenced over here. You'll see that stoicism, philosophy, and productivity all pop up and it has all of my notes from the different categories within. And I have the ability to pin one of these tags. And if I pin multiple of them on the side here, they pop up above the fold. And if I like any of the quotes I put specifically, I can not only use a tag, but hit starred. So it pops up in like my sort of favorites, you could say. Another note from earlier is that after I press shared, it actually does pop up in your shared section so you can see what is shared with other people. And you can actually press unpublish if you want that link to stop working. Some more categorical type things that you can do with this is that you can obviously regenerate the title or transcript. The AI here has the ability to try to fix any issues it might have had earlier. And say I don't really enjoy one of these titles like Seneca, my favorite honest philosopher is a good title. But let's see, I want to regenerate this. That's a better version of my head, so that works. And now, first Seneca, my honest favorite Stoic philosopher, I could edit this note to change any of the text if I found that it didn't say exactly what I wanted it to, or if I wanted to add more context here, right? So I think it gives you a great starting point from the written side, and if I wanted to, I could uh, change it and make additions if need be as well. If I press create here, it allows you to do a myriad of great summarization and different type of like quick AI capabilities, right? So if I summarize this, it would create a summary from the note, which should be pretty short and sweet. It lets me know I prefer Seneca for other Stoic philosophers. This is a great summary and I can copy this out or delete it. And I can also do other things like create a to-do list out of this as well, which for example, could be 
read works by Epictetus, study Seneca writing and philosophy, reflect on Seneca quote about the unconquerable mind, and compare the philosophies of Marcus Aurelius and Seneca. These are great because these are kind of like starters from which you verbalize something into existence and it can then do even more tangible things like create an email about it. Say I was talking about work or something to that effect, right? So for productivity, I do make content about apps a lot. So I could create a tweet about my thoughts earlier on how automation is so great. Automating tasks has made my workflow seamless. I wonder how people manage without tools like Notion, to do your Google Calendar. Can't imagine my life before voice notes. How did we survive? So all of this would work great inside of a tweet and is exactly about what I said. So it's really easy to interact with these notes. And I love this interface because it is so simple. But something that I would like to do as well is note that this AI capability gives you custom instruction options. So I could do something else like uh, not just write an email or something to that effect, but create a YouTube video idea based on this note. So I press create here. You'll notice that it then doesn't house the custom one, but it allows you to run that prompt. How automation revolutionized my task management, a notion journey. Okay, it's a decent title. And then it has an outline for you. So I take a note and then immediately I could have an outline for a video. And for somebody who works in the space that I do, that's pretty awesome. And something else about this that's really great is I can actually add things that aren't just, you know, me being able to do another voice thread. You can see right here, I pressed record again and it started it, but I'm going to cancel that. I can not only just like keep the notes going, I could also add photos or links to things. Like for example, I can go to todoist.com and I could paste out how this is one of the different links that are related to this and I can add more, right? So I could be like, I could add the logo for something like Notion here. Let's see, it would add this to the note, give it more color and context. And I think my favorite part of this app is obviously the ease of use when I'm on the go. And if you look at this application, it's a pretty quick and easy one. Like I know a lot of these different tools have some lag to them and whatnot. It is a very well functioning application. And while I can search through anything really easy, just like I can on the app on my desktop, rather than looking it up though, I can actually press ask my AI. And you'll see it has suggestions here for things like, do you have a to-do list for me for the day? It's interesting. Doesn't seem like I have a specific to-do list for today I mentioned in my notes. Uh, what about this? I can ask anything and I can do it dictated or I could write it out. So who is my favorite philosopher? And you'll see it says, who is my favorite philosopher? And it also has the audio to it. Your favorite philosopher is Friedrich Nietzsche. Who is my favorite Stoic philosopher? And what is his best quote according to my notes? So it says your favorite Stoic philosopher is Marcus Aurelius. The best quote according to your notes is, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. So that is one of my favorite Stoic philosophers. And it's really cool that I could use this in such an easy way to get context from all the notes that I've taken. And adding this is really cool. I think the experience on the phone, on the computer is awesome. I've always been frustrated by wanting to have a system for audio journaling. And for me, this is kind of a gateway between a bunch of automations that I had made and, and an actually really great product. You'll notice that on the bottom left over here, you can record for more than a minute and use GPT-40 and more if you get the Believer, which is a lifetime option for $50 or a $10 per month option. So it's gonna be limitless recording and you'll get GPT-40, which will have obviously less issues with like content length because it's just a huge context window and a lot better of an experience overall. So if you like this video and wanna learn more about this product, make sure to check out Voice Notes at voicenotes.com. I'll put a link down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.